sure is a lot of mythology going on within Christianity. People are worshiping demons and devils. You know, Christians have a way of brushing off the verses that tell us to study to show ourselves approved. Even, even if you just take the Bible for what it says in in the King James translation or the modern translation, and pick out verses that say demons and devils, go back into the Old Testament. Demons and devils were nothing more than idols, uh, gods of Canaan which God tells us they are not they are no gods and and are not to be feared at all when Elijah came up against the uh, pagan priest they had no power the one true God had the power uh, today people actually worship idols and call themselves Christians. They they use the medieval uh, translations and, and uh, practices of demons and devils being real. In the Old Testament they were no more than carved idols, foreign gods. As the New Testament comes along, what it meant to the to the to Christ and to the writers of the New Testament was not supernatural beings, deities. Uh, they were worshiping uh, goat gods and, and calves and all that. Those were described as demons. Christians today are, they talk about these demons and, and devils possessing people and having great power. It's foolishness. Uh, and it can have an effect on people. You believe in something strong enough, it becomes real to you. So for Christians to come on here and claim other Christians are possessed by these demons and devils, what they're actually saying is they're worshiping idols. They, they carve out idols and say this is God's to this and this is God's to this. God tells us those are no gods and they're nothing to fear. Today we want to make a supernatural being Satan. It's an evil spirit coming from men themselves. If, if I had an evil spirit in me that, that hated you or wanted to kill you or anything, that, that's the demon in me. It's not a supernatural being that's outside of me that has any control on anybody. To believe that, you're believing in mythology. You're not believing in Christianity. You're not believing in the one true God. And to say that to study these things, find out their origins, is useless. Or to, to try to figure out what the Hebrew and the Greek meant to us today, how we see it in our modern culture. Where do you get off on saying that? You're, you're making yourself without sin by avoiding all the things that the scriptures really say are sin. And there's a vast number of them that I see the Christians on here that are accusing everybody else of being demon possessed. I see those Christians committing these sins and covering them up with the blood of Jesus and saying everybody else is wrong.
may get you somewhere in this life. But you're heaping up your rewards today. And that's, and that's all you people are doing. You're, you're, you're worshiping Christ for fear of these things that don't exist. You're worshiping Christ for what reward you can get. And you say you're blessed. You know, in, in scriptures it talks about the priest. Well, you know, didn't we do this? Didn't we do that? And, but you're still poor among you. You're, you're gloating in your, your blessings, which will get you nowhere. They won't be a reward for you in heaven. They're only rewards for you here while you're here on earth. If I was, had never heard of Christianity and came on here and had to uh, make a decision whether or not to be a Christian by, by what I hear of these Christians on YouTube talking about, wouldn't be for me. Couldn't possibly be real, couldn't possibly be true. You know, digging ditches and slipping off in them and you can't get out. Because you love it. Have at it.